The Discovery Science Place is back to show us another fun experiment you can try at home. And today, it sounds crazy, but we are going to try and put a skewer through a balloon. Here to guide us, of course, is Carol and Aaron over at the Discovery Science Place. Thank you all for waking up with us this morning. And you know what? It, it sounds crazy, but you know what? It looks like you've already got one that you did a little mm -hmm. earlier. Yeah, it's kind of a great party trick. And I want to say mm -hmm. I love those goggles on you, Chandler. Right? Yeah, yeah, no, it's a good look. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, you know, two things you don't normally want to put together, something sharp mm -hmm. and a balloon, right? But we're here today to show you that based on science, you can, you can do that. That's so awesome. The cool thing is, think about a stressful situation, right? Mm -hmm. you kind of feel pulled tight, yeah. feel a little tense. tense. Yeah, so how are you going to navigate that? Well, it's the same thing with the balloon. When we blow up a balloon, it's made of rubber, uh -huh. and there's a lot of tight areas where it's keeping the... All obviously keeping the air in, but there's some areas where the molecules are a little more relaxed, and that's the point we're going to look to put the skewer in. So do you guys want to try with me? Yeah, yes. of course. Okay. So if uh, you don't happen to have maybe like dish soap at home, uh -huh. uh, what else could you use? So we're using dish soap today, but you could use vegetable oil, or what do you have there, Aaron? I have a three-in-one lubricant. Nice. Okay, yeah, yeah. so mm -hmm. some kind of grease, oil, soap, something that's going to lubricate the skewer, because we want to cut down on the friction mm -hmm. if we can. So if you want to take your skewer, okay. and you're just going to kind of rub it. We have these little um, balloons full of soap. <laughs> you want to get the skewer coated the best you can. The whole thing? Um, I mean, as far as it's going to go through the balloon. So that we, the other key kind of is to inflate the balloon and then let a little air out so it's not okay. fully um, all the way inflated, but you can you can test that at home. Gotcha. Now, I can't promise, you know, it works the majority of the time, but if okay. you might pop one and that's okay, we have several inflated. So you want right. to look at the end by the knot uh -huh. where there's more, see how it's a darker color? Yeah. And so you're going to just kind of nicely put that skewer in there at the bottom. Whoops. Oh, I know, I know. Here, I'll show <laughs> you. Don't be I scared. Know, it's it's okay. a little. Uh, I am there, not a see, fan look, of I got mine in. Noises. I got how mine in. That? And right. then you want to. So right here? Yeah, just where, yeah, you think it's. And you might want to hold it right next to there. Oh, goodness. I'm nervous. Uh, don't be nervous. It's okay. All right. <laughs> Luckily, if it through. pops, it's usually not as loud because it's kind of a bigger hole. Oh, yeah, and you're there you go. And out. Aaron's like got that? hers in. Yes. yes. Like there you go. There you go. You got it. Woo! And twisting, oh, it, twisting it does help. Good job. Yeah. Oh. You did it. Yay. And then you, you kind of want to put two fingers and poke it gently out of the end. Now, it is letting some of the air out, uh -huh. but just go ahead and go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You're close, you're close. <laughs> Come on. And if you want to put your fingers Come under, on. yeah, if you feel like you're helping well, it out. There oh, you there go. It is. Look, look, we all three did. Yes, we did it. Yes, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> give, me, give me blue and fun. Right, yeah, how about that? Uh, so what other uh, events y'all have coming up the next couple of weeks at the Science Museum? Oh, we have so much going on. Of course, we have summer camp coming up. We mm -hmm. just posted that online. So we have uh, different ages and different themes. Mm -hmm. uh, we're super excited about summer camp. Absolutely. And we, of course, still have the Ninja Turtles there. You can nice. until May 21st. Uh, oh, Founders Day is coming up. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to be Saturday, uh, May 13th. Mm -hmm. And the first part of the day will be families, um, parents and children welcome. And then the last part of the day is adults only. Oh, nice. So yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun, a very carnival-type atmosphere. That's um, awesome. So it's, we got a lot of fun things coming up. And That's the cool, cool thing about Founders Day, the, the parking lot activities for families are free. Oh, so okay. if you can just come out and celebrate out in the parking lot with us, obviously we'll have the museum open mm -hmm. and the Ninja Turtles, but the, those activities are nice. free. Nice. And yeah. then what about the uh, Full Steam Ahead event? Well, thank you for the no rain on Full Steam. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it worked out. <laughs> it worked out. It was a gorgeous day outside. That's um, awesome. We had a great turnout. There's um, some kiddos learning about... Um, Smashing a flower with nitrogen. Oh, uh, yeah, um, liquid nitrogen. Li liquid nitrogen. And then uh, East Texas Giving Day, Taylor and I uh, were making it rain. Uh, we nice. tripled our goal of. That's um, awesome. And we got, what, 31? Almost 31,000 yeah, 31, wow. for building so. repairs and some new bathrooms. Yes. I'm so excited. That I can't is wait. awesome. Yeah. So we had, we had a great time. Great. Yes. Wow. I'm so happy that y'all were able to fundraise everything like mm -hmm. that. And it sounds like it was a lot of fun. So yes. thank y'all for showing us this morning. This was, uh, you know what? It sounds hard, but honestly, yeah. once you do it, pretty easy. And yeah, a lot of fun, right. too. A lot of fun. And the science behind it, we didn't really get to talk about that a whole lot, but that's mm -hmm. posted online. So okay. we kind of yeah. ran out of time, but that's online for people to go read about. Yeah, of yeah. course. And if you ever want to read that again on mm -hmm. our website, or you can go to the museum yourself. Mm -hmm. So thank you all again Bye. for waking up with us thank this morning and showing us the experiment.